to help you do this really well, because I encounter students who have lots of trouble with this. And it's very, very important. Like I said, very practical skill. I want you to write underneath this heading a question that doesn't have anything to do with time. Okay? This is the question I've written up. Just write this underneath this subheading. Okay? Now, this is arithmetic, yeah? Because this is arithmetic with time, I want us to remember the stuff we know about regular arithmetic and then we'll apply it. Okay? Um, how do you do this question? What's the first thing you do? Yeah, Christian. You add the one and the eight. You add the one and the eight, which gives you nine. And then what do you do? You add the five and the seven, which gives you twelve. So I go one, two, and then what's my last thing? I add one, four, and two, which gives me seven. Very good. Okay, so you guys are really good at doing this, but I want you to actually rewind for a second and think about what you were doing. Okay, um, you told me to add the one and the eight. Those guys, those ones and the eights, they have um. They have a name, right? We call these guys the units. Right? We call them the units. And then you added the five and the seven. Also has a name. What are those called? Tens. And then lastly, you added the, the hundreds. And if, if I had a bit bigger numbers, you could obviously add the thousands or the ten thousands, yada, yada, yada. Good. Underneath here, I want you to write another arithmetic question for me, okay? Like this. Okay. Because you've demonstrated how good you are at this, right? We can apply the same skills here. Just like we added these different things here, we call this place value, right? Um, Time has place value as well, right? In fact, I even label it. I'm going to do, they don't call them units or tens. I'm going to do the minutes first. And if I need to carry some stuff, I will. Then I'm going to do the hours, right? Okay, so 46 plus 17. Just think about the numbers. 46 plus 17, I think that's 63, right? 63. Now, when you added 5 and 7, you said, whoop, 12. So you carried the 1, right? But you don't carry 1s when you're doing time, right? 63 minutes, what am I going to carry out of there? 60 minutes. I'm going to carry 60 minutes, right? So that leaves me with 3 minutes here, and those 60 minutes become 1 hour over here. Does, does that make sense? Okay. So it looks a bit different, but the, the concept is the same. And now I can go down here, 1 plus 7 plus 2 is 10. Very good. 10 hours, 3 minutes. That's it. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, we just did an addition. I've got a subtraction here for you. Here we go. Uh, okay. Again, same deal. I'm going to apply the same concepts I knew up here, down here. Now look at this question, right? In a similar way to before, I need to do some carrying, right? But the carrying is going the opposite direction. So help me work out. What do I do? What do I do first? Look carefully, right? I've got 10, take away 42. That's a bit of a problem, right? I want to stay with positive numbers. So I'm going to carry something in the opposite direction, yes? I'm going to add, add from this four hours, I'm going to take an hour out, and add it over here. Does that make sense? So if I take one of these hours, if I borrow that for a moment, okay? If I borrow an hour from that, what does it become over here? 70. It becomes 70, right? Because it's 60 plus 10. So this is 70 now. Now, of course, you wouldn't say three hours and 70 minutes because people would look at you and say, what kind of watch are you reading, okay? But this helps us do the subtraction. 70 take away 42. Twenty-eight. It's easy to be off by ten, by the way, right? So be careful. That's done. And in fact, over here, even though I haven't written any hours here, what that means is it's zero hours, isn't it? So three take away zero is three, and you're done. Make sense? Okay. Um, 
Last one. We did conversion. We did arithmetic. What did I say was the last one? Round. Rounding. Okay. This will take like two minutes. Or if you round it, zero minutes. Rounding. Okay, now you guys are so good at this. I'm just going to give you three. I'm just going to go straight to the examples, okay? So I want us to write this down. Round these three quantities. Um, round them to the nearest hour. Now, I'm going to write the three quantities down first, and then we're going to look at them and discuss them briefly. Okay. So I've got this one. Seven hours. Minutes. I've got... And I've got... Okay, so obviously you can do this with minutes or seconds or years or whatever, but it's easy to have a conversation just like this. Okay. Now, if we're rounding to the nearest hour, the tricky thing you need to keep in mind is that, just like here, the, the place values are a bit different. They're all in 60s, 60s, rather than like in 10s, right? So when I look at this, 7 hours, 41 minutes, if I saw a number like 7.41 and I said, can you round that to the nearest unit? Which way would you round that? Down. You'd round down, because it's under half. Do you agree with that? So that would go to seven, right? But 41 minutes, is that under half an hour? No, it's, it's over, isn't it? So this should round up. So this is going to be eight hours. Does that make sense? It's gone up. Okay. What about this one, though? 5.3 hours. That goes to five. That's going to go down. That's very obviously going to go down because it's just like this, right? So that is five hours. Cool. And the last one I just want to caution you of is this one because this is a very common error, okay? So please write underneath this just like I have in another color, okay? This does not mean, it does not mean, does not mean, I mean, we're going to put it in capitalized letters, right? It doesn't mean 30 hours and eight minutes. Okay, that's not what it means. Not, right? It means 30 hours and 0.8 of an hour. Okay, now 0.8 of an hour is obviously more than half of an hour. Do you agree with that? Because half an hour is 0.5 of an hour. So is this going to round up or down? Oh, the genius. 31 hours. It's worth mentioning, um, you wouldn't normally say 31 hours, would you? What would you normally say? One day and a bit. One, One day, day and seven hours. <laughs> we can do better than a bit, right? Ooh. One day and seven hours, okay? Um, notice I've got days in here, but it's still to the same accuracy, so I've still rounded it to the nearest day. Okay. 